So, and, and this is, this, I mean, even when you're looking at like some of Paul's letters, right? Sometimes the best thing to do is to go back and dig in. What was happening with him there? What was Paul going through, right? And that influences why did he begin to write this? Because if you can paint that picture for people, it gives them a better idea of, okay, this is where this person was coming from. And maybe I'm in a similar boat as this person. All right? Um, the other thing, uh, you, you'll notice that on your, Bible, uh, on your Bible studies, there's, and we'll get, again, we'll, we'll dig into this when we get into formatting and templates, but you're, you'll be given objectives of the, that you're trying to get at. Okay? There'll be two objectives, at least in the first study, and the second study, there'll be other objectives. But the key thing is, is that, you know, the content stuff in the Bible study, you can mess around with all you want. But the point is, is that there are specific things we want you to try to get at through this passage. And so, play with whatever you want, but make sure you hit this. Because the worst thing is when you get to a Bible study, and really, there's no point of it. You don't know where it's going, you don't know what they're trying to get at, where they're trying to get to. It's just kind of airy-fairy. And next thing you know, no one's learned anything, because really, you, know, you as the leaders... We're, we're trying to get at something specific. And so that's one of the key things, is, is realize what you're trying to get at, take whatever your route you want to get there, but get there. Make sure you get there. Make sure you map out how you get there. All right? Um, some other things. Uh, different people learn different ways. And you probably know this between your friends, right? Some of you learn better when you know, you're listening and just listening. Some people learn better when they're reading, or maybe it's, you know, it's visual, it's like pictures and stuff like that. Some of you actually need to get in with your hands with something, you know, maybe leg or, or something like that, right? And really work at something with your hands in order to figure something out, right? So for instance, you know, um, well, why not? Let's use this, right? Remote. Remote for laptop. I get, some of you, I can just tell you. There's a couple buttons on the side that, if you want, press the right one to advance, press the left one to go back, and you're like, okay, I know that. Some of you, all you need is, the, is, is a picture of this, right? I can flash a picture up on this, and I can say, right button goes forward, left button goes backwards, and you'll be like, okay, that makes sense to me. Some of you have to actually take this and actually feel it and begin to play around with it to say, okay, this button goes forward, this button goes backwards, right? So that's the thing. It, is, is, is as you're putting your lessons, your plans together, you know, try to get to some of those different things. Maybe, you know, maybe what, if you're looking at a passage, maybe part of it is you have everyone close their eyes and you just and you have one person reading. Yeah, and so for some people, you know, who are oral learners, you know, that'll get to them. Maybe for some of them, you know, they need to actually draw something out. You have to, you have a picture that you want them to draw out, and so you get them to do that. Maybe you bring in, uh, you know, tri you know, well, what's it called? Maybe you bring in like mega blocks or something, right? And have people build the Great Wall or I don't know whatever the lesson says, right? And maybe they need to. Do, maybe you need to bring stuff like that in and, and incorporate that as part of your lesson plan because that's what they need. Some people need those kind of those kind of different learning styles to see to to, to understand what you're trying to get to. Um, some of you might remember from last year, uh, Luther Glacy has taught in this whole idea of student-centered learning, right? Developing tasks for people to begin to, so that they can discover the truth themselves versus someone like me telling you stuff, right? You get them to work at something, and, the, and as they're working it through, they begin to discover what you're trying to get at, all right? Uh, and that's something we can talk about later on. So, a couple, I'm gonna give you, give you a couple of suggested formats, um, to, a couple of templates to, to use. 